Hi, Alan Stankovitz here for DayCreek.com, and today I need to vent. Literally, our greenhouse, version two. A few years back, if you follow the Day Creek Journal, I had built a hoop frame greenhouse that got whacked by a snowstorm. So Joe said to me, if you're gonna build a greenhouse again, make sure you do it right. I thought, gee, that's a good idea. And so that's what I did. If anyone's followed how I built the house, it's the house of overkill. We have a garage of overkill. And now we have a greenhouse of overkill. I thought about buying a kit, but I didn't like the way they ventilated. Because ventilation is really important. It gets really hot here in the summers in southeast Minnesota. And I wanted to make sure that I had the ability to open up the sides and vent through the roof without having to use any electricity. So this is kind of a science experiment. And I found these. These are the Univent automatic window openers for greenhouses. It's made, Dutch made, 100% quality. There's some knockoffs you can find on eBay, but I wanted to use this one because I feel that it's better made. It has a two year warranty and we'll see how it goes. But today I wanna to talk about the installation, how it went and talk a bit about, you know, at least so far how it's been working. So without further ado, here's our review of the Univent automatic window opener. Opening the box, you'll find instructions, bracket, and a series of hardware components. In our particular case, since we were doing this for a wood frame greenhouse, the only thing we use out of the hardware packet is a hairpin. And it's extremely easy and straightforward to put together. The springs are already attached, the brackets put together. So the only thing you really need to do is to uh, thread the rod in place and you're done. This uh, little security uh, Velcro strip is used in the winter time. You pull the rod out and then to keep your vents from flopping open you secure the unit together, strap it together. Here's a close-up of the assembly with the rod threaded in place. There's a hairpin on the end to keep it from pulling out. Once you've got this done it's a matter of just taking it up on the roof and installing it. Very straightforward. Here we are installing the bracket. Because we have a wood frame, it's very easy to do. And, and these vent openings are very light, so I'm not overdoing it with the hardware. Two wood screws on the base of the bracket to attach to the wood frame. And then two more wood screws into the frame of the window itself, and that's it. You're pretty much done. The only thing that you'll need to do is to do an adjustment with the rod, the threaded rod, so that you can set your temperature. In our particular case, I have the windows opening at about 70 degrees. And so far with all seven of these installed, they've kept the greenhouse nice and cool, even without opening the sides of the greenhouse. Now our temperatures are still rather cool. I mean, we've had a high today of about 60 degrees Fahrenheit. And um, they were open quite wide on the south side because of the sun hitting the rods, but very happy with them so far. Can't say enough about them. Super easy to install. And now we just have to wait to see how well they hold up over the years. Well, that's about it for today. Thanks for watching. And if you liked what you saw, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Take care and hope to see you the next time around.